page 433. So there's some important things we can highlight here. So when things take on a huge range of values, then we need to use a logarithmic scale. And some examples include the Richter scale, the decibel scale, and the pH scale. And all of these, ex all of these things are things that could be on your exam. So they could choose one of these ideas, give you the formula that works with that idea, and ask you to work with it. So the magnitude of an earthquake follows this formula. It's the log of the intensity to compared to the intensity of a standard earthquake. So I is the intensity of your earthquake, and that's compared to a standard earthquake S. Now, we know that with a log, every time we go up by 1, so it, each increase of 1 on a logarithmic scale represents something that is 10 times more intense. So when we compare two logs or two earthquakes, like a 9 to a 7, it's 100 times more intense. So sometimes we find out that there's a shortcut to these questions because how much more intense is a 6, wow, that's yellow. How much more intense is a 6.7 compared to, uh, let's go, a 4.8? How much bigger is that? Okay. It goes almost two up, right? If it went to 6.8, then the 6.7 would be 100 times more intense. But it goes up 1.9. So when we compare them, when we compare them, the one will be 10 to the power 6.7 for its intensity. The other one will be 10 to the power 4.8. Well, what's our exponent rule for comparing these? The difference is 1.9. And if you do 10 to the power 1.9, you're going to find out that it was 79 times more intense. Does that Yes. Yeah, you know, that's a big bad decimal there. Here we go. Just make that. There's the decimal. Beautiful. Yeah, it's supposed to be. <laughs> Okay, that looks bad. 4.8. All right, so let's go to our first example. We'll look at how do we solve these things if we did use the formula and why the shortcut works. So I'm going to write the formula again here that the magnitude <coughs> So the most intense earthquake ever recorded, Chile 1960, was a 9.5. That's crazy. So we want to calculate the intensity of Chile in terms of a standard earthquake. So that means we want to get intensity by itself. And there might be S on the other side of the equation because we don't, we don't have a number for S. We, S is just the measurement of a standard. So we're wanting to solve for I. I is inside of our logarithm. We put the numbers in that we know. We know that the magnitude was 9.5. We want to solve for I, and we're going to write it in terms of S, so S would still be in here. 
Well, the variable we want to solve for is inside of a logarithm. How do we solve equations where something is inside of a logarithm? We had four steps, right? The key step was the second one where we changed it to exponential form. In order to change something to exponential form, it first had to be a single logarithm. So step one in what we worked on was let's write this as a single logarithm. It already is a single logarithm. Perfect. Step two, can we write this in exponential form? What's the base? 10. What's the exponent? 9.5 equals i over s. So if you wanted to get i by itself, And this will happen with every single earthquake. The intensity will always be 10 to the power of whatever it was on the Richter scale times the standard one. How many times as intense as the Haiti earthquake? And the Haiti earthquake is listed on the other page as a 7. How many times as intense was the Haiti earthquake compared to the Chile earthquake? So when you're looking at comparing two of them, we really want to look at the intensity of Chile divided by the intensity of the Haiti earthquake. So I'll just use that notation so we know which one we're talking about. We already figured out that the intensity of the Chile one was 10 to the 9.5 times a standard earthquake. Without doing all the math, what's the intensity of the Haiti one going to be? 10 to the power 7 times the standard one. What's going to happen with both of those standard ones? And so the shortcut for comparing intensity is you just can go 10 to the magnitude of the one divided by 10 to the magnitude of the other one. And using your exponent laws, you would subtract. And this is equal to 10 to the 2.5. Typing that into your calculator. Three hundred and sixteen point two. So it was 316 times more intense than the earthquake in Haiti. Questions 4, 5, 9, 10, and 11. We're going to take some time to work on those and work on the ones from earlier.